Hi, I'm Tracy from Inland Empire Eats, and today I get to go to Wild Goose Coffee Roasters. It's a roaster right here in Redlands. They make a lot of coffee, or you can actually come here and drink it right here on site. They do cuppings on Fridays, but you can also buy their coffee at several different cafes all throughout the Inland Empire. So I get to meet with Nate, the owner. He's gonna show us the roasting process, and I am so excited to get inside, so come with me. Thank you. Hi, Inland Empire Eats. I'm here with Nate from Wild Goose Coffee Roasters. Hello. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you. I'm excited I, that you're here. I love your coffee, and I'm excited to learn more about like the process and everything. Because we're right here in Redlands. You actually make the coffee right here. We do. We roast everything right here on site. Everything is super duper fresh. Uh, it's pretty tasty. That's exciting. I know it's tasty. And sorry, guys, you can't taste it right now. But nah, we might virtually have Virtually taste it. We can have an air <laughs> shot right here. We, we might have a special deal for them if they watch the whole video. You got to watch to the end, though. To maybe get some free coffee? Possibly. Okay, cool. All right, so tell me all about Wild Goose. How did you guys get started? Um, why did you decide to buy the business or did you create the business? Like, how yeah, did it Yeah, so I, I created the business. Okay. Um, I was a high school math teacher for 15 years, um, 12 of which I was in Yukaipa, Yukaipa High School, and had this crazy idea to start a coffee business that had a charitable mindset to it. And okay. so um, I did five years of classroom and growing the business. We started off at Market Night. Some of you may recognize us from there. We still have some loyal Market Night people who come to the shop here. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, have been out of the classroom. I retired. I've been out of the classroom <laughs> for the past six years or so. So we just celebrated 10 years recently. Wow, so. congrats. That's yeah. exciting. Thank you. If you can see the beans, they're not super oily. Yeah, can we take one and, out? And that's intentional. I see. Okay. Tell me, what do you mean oily, so, not oily? When I was in college, I swore by Trader Joe's Bay Blend Coffee. Nothing against Trader Joe's Bay Blend Coffee. It got me through college, and for that I'm grateful. <laughs> uh, when I would open up those canisters, they would be jet black and oily, which I thought was the good stuff. Then I would have a couple cups of coffee. My stomach would hurt. I don't know if you've ever experienced yeah. that as well. The problem is those oils, when they turn, when they get in contact with oxygen, they turn rancid really quickly. Hmm. And so you are, just as much as if you're drinking two cups of sour milk, you're hurting your stomach. You're drinking two cups of, of rancid oils, of course your stomach's going to hurt. So uh, wow. a lot of specialty roasters in town, across the state, across the country, there's a lot of the specialty grade coffee. If you notice that it's not dark and oily, that's intentional. And it keeps the oils on the inside of the bean. Pres uh, preserves flavor, preserves freshness, keeps your stomach intact. It's all, it's I a, it's a win, win, win. I did not know that. Kind of fun, yeah? That's a really interesting fact. Yeah. To make the pit of the cherry. Okay. Now, if we take that, imagine that there's fruit around it, just like a regular cherry. So when the coffee farmers harvest the fruit, they actually pick the cherries. This, the cherry goes through a machine that removes the fruit on the outside. And then you're left with these two little seedlings, or not seedlings, that's a plant. These two little seeds uh, put together like a pit with a little bit of a, of a fruit skin on the outside. Those typically get washed in a, in a big trough and that removes the fruit on the outside and then they get laid out to dry. And then we have our coffee like this. Oh. That's called a washed processed coffee. Sorry, my hand is right in front of my face. We have a few educational videos because I'm a teacher at heart. Okay, so. what's, your video, what's your website? Wildgoosecoffee.com. Wildgoosecoffee.com. Go there for way more in-depth, probably better edited videos than this one. <laughs> but you still have to see my face, so. Yeah, There's, well, that's you know, a good thing, I think. Sorry about that, You're guys. local, we like that. That's right. How did someone like discover that taking the cherry, doing all this to it, would make it into a drink? Like, who figured that out? You know, as legend has it, a, an Ethiopian goat farmer uh, noticed that his goats were eating cherries from this plant and started getting more and more hyper. <laughs> and so they said, well, let's try to figure out what's behind that. And then as far as the roasting goes, um, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so are you going to show us the roasting process, like how it works? No. Yeah. <laughs> Kidding. Yes, of course we are. Okay. Uh, so we'll, we'll walk you through uh, what, the, what the banshee looks like is what we call it. Okay. So. Let's go in there. Let's do it. Okay. So coming back to our roasting room, we'll show you kind of a behind the scenes sneak peek of what happens uh, in the roasting room. So this is the roaster. Looks a little bit like a locomotive. 
So you can see the coffee beans turning around in here. And uh, this is our head roaster, Ian. Say hi to Ian, everybody. He is responsible for all of the wonderful flavors that you taste in the coffees in the bag. So he whips his magic touch on everything and does a phenomenal job. If you look over here, we load up the coffee green in these buckets. This machine will roast up to 25 pounds at a time. Everything we roast is roasted fresh to order. So as a wholesaler, primarily, uh, everything that, that we roast, uh, we, we don't roast it until it's ordered. So all the orders that came in yesterday, we're roasting right now. It'll get bagged, shipped later this afternoon, and in the cafe's hands tomorrow. So we're pretty excited about that quick turnaround and so are the cafes. That's always a nice thing. And if you hang around a little bit longer, we'll actually be able to see the finish of the batch, which is pretty exciting. So we don't want to touch those. Yeah, definitely not, unless you want to burn yourself pretty badly. They're 400 degrees. Yeah, mo over 400 degrees at the finish. So now these are, these are not completely cool still. Um, I just want to cool them part way, and then I'm going to get them out of the machine so that I can start heating it back up for another batch. So if you take a look over here, this is our green coffee. We have coffee from all over the world. So these bags, this is from Guatemala, Brazil, couple different coffees from Colombia. We get the coffee in these big burlap sacks, about 130, 150 pounds each, depending on where the coffee's from. And uh, we roast through those. Then we'll bag them and ship them out uh, later today. So okay. this is a picture of our standard bag. Because we are from Redlands, born and raised here, not me personally, but the business, we have an homage to the Redlands orange groves, palm trees, mountaintops. And then if you look on the other side, we've got the nighttime view. Wow, so, that's really cool. So you can bring home a taste of Redlands, literally, in your kitchen. <laughs> so what you're looking at right now is a hand-painted mural by local artist James McClung. And it is a mural depicting the story of the coffee from seed to cup to community. So these are all the processes that happen. Starts at the seed, it gets harvested, or sorry, it grows, and it gets harvested as a cherry. Processed, which we talked about with the wet process versus the, uh, I'm sorry, washed versus natural, etc. cetera. Um, we do a sample roast on it, and then we cup it which uh, is a process of evaluating coffee. It's kind of like test driving a car. We want to be able to taste everything that's going on in the coffee. Um, in fact, we do that every Friday at one o'clock here for free. So if you're ever free on a Friday, I would invite you personally via video, come check us out. Every Friday at one o'clock, we do free public cuppings. We also do cuppings on the first Saturday of every month at 10 a.m. right here. So you get to, we line up eight different coffees. You slurp with a spoon, you get to meet friends. It's great. This is a picture of the roaster, which we'll see in a second. And we bag it, brew it. And then of course the giving component. Now the artistic side of me needs to point out every picture on the mural has one accent color except the give portion. Oh. If you look at the give portion, that has the sum total of all the accent colors in the mural because we believe that this entire process all funnels into one common thing, which is giving back to the community. We also get questions about whether our coffee is fair trade, fairly traded, et cetera. And the answer is absolutely. We assure when we buy our coffee that the farmers in Guatemala, Ethiopia, Kenya, wherever we're buying the coffee from, are getting paid a fair wage. So not only are, is good being done at the farm level, but good is also being done here in the local community. And so we think that's fun. So we think that coffee should be great, first of all. And uh, if you're enjoying great coffee, that's a really good thing. We also want the coffee to give back to the community. So we want to, loving more than just your coffee is loving your coffee that you're drinking, but also loving your local community. So the one equals 10 stands for every pound of coffee that we sell provides 10 pounds of food to a local food bank. And uh, we're really proud to say that people drinking our coffee have now provided over 2 million pounds of food to local food banks up and down the state. 2 million pounds? 2 million pounds. That's a lot. It's more than all of us could lift together. So here we have um, fresh roasted coffee on our shelves. Everything you're going to find on our shelves is roasted within the uh, five days, which is kind of fun. And uh, as we mentioned earlier, we can put our coffee where our mouth is. <laughs> That's a funny shirt. So you can buy that here? That's here, yeah. Okay, so tell us your name. My name is Rick. How long have you been coming to Wild Goose Coffee? Um, better part of a couple of years. Okay, and what's your favorite part about Wild Goose? I think that uh, the job that they do with their coffee is exceptional. It's never like over roasted. It's always perfect. Um, the variety is good. My name's Steven Luna, the owner of Cafe Agape in Beaumont. Uh, we use Wild Goose because their stuff's good and it's pretty good. So you use their coffee at your coffee shop? Yeah. So hi, my name is Ajale. I am one of the production managers here and that means that I take care of 
uh, baristaing. That means that I help with all of our production stuff, so getting bags ready and getting things out and on time. Um, it also means that I design a lot of the stuff that's around here and help with our designers to make sure that it's all on brand and making sure that everything works right and looks pretty and matches all the theme we're going for. So. Yeah, it does look pretty. Thank you. <laughs> so what is your favorite drink or your favorite coffee or both? Uh, well, my favorite drink right now is a decaf Americano with oat. Um, that's what I've been drinking. Oat milk? Recent. Yeah, I, I am lactose intolerant, so gotta, gotta have my non-dairy. Yeah, so you guys have non-dairy options here? We do. So. We have oat right now. We don't have any other alternatives other than that. Um, but I actually really, really like it. And I think that's why we carry it. Um, just because it's very thick and creamy still, um, but not so creamy that your stomach dies. <laughs> My favorite coffee that we carry is actually the Columbia. Um, we have other options, but I really, really like the Columbia. Um, just because it's kind of like middle of the road, delicious, not too fruity, not too chocolatey. Um, I think I, I just really like it. So. Okay, awesome. So can you make us a cup of coffee so we can see? Yeah, totally. Okay. Are you, what are you wanting? Let's do it. I think I will get the iced latte with oat milk. Perfect. Yeah, okay. So we want to allow you to treat your friend to a free coffee. That way you can be the hero. Don't tell them it's free. And you say, I'm buying you a cup of coffee. Come, let's go to Wild Goose. We're open Tuesday through Friday, 7.30 to 3.30. We're also open Saturdays, 9 to noon. We've got some outdoor seating. It's a quaint little spot. So to claim your free coffee, or more importantly, to claim your friend's free coffee, all you got to do is message our page with the word hero, H-E-R-O. Why hero? You're their hero when you treat them to free coffee. Just message our page, hero, H-E-R-O, and you can treat your friend to a free coffee. One got my coffee. I'm really excited. I uh, had such a fun time meeting with Nate from Wild Goose Coffee Roasters. Thank you guys for watching here on Inland Empire Eats. And like he said, you can come right in and get a buy one, get one free coffee so you can treat your friend to a cup of coffee and be their hero. And to do that, you just need to message their page the word hero, H-E-R-O. Thanks so much. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. See ya. Doesn't make sense, see? Yeah. Any more coffee? <laughs> are we supposed to be looking at each other or the camera? Um, both, because okay. I'm interviewing you. But if you are looking there, make sure you look at the far left. Uh, and there here. <laughs> so yeah, look at the top left. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Cool. That's where we look into the viewers. Alright. Good deal. Alright. Yeah.